One of the leaders back in the uh, NDSU secondary, uh, Dawson Weber, got into the uh, history books last week with a uh, home return for uh, a, a touchdown and, and gets ready for uh, Arizona this weekend. But uh, yeah, you're in the record books now that uh, with that fumble recovery. I, you know, I thought maybe there'd been an 80, 85 yarder, but uh, you're, you're tied. Uh, you're in the record books. Hopefully for hopefully for a long time. Yeah, it was a good feeling, man, and just having the right guys on the D line to make plays and just put the ball in our hands and. Jackson doing heifer, man. Great play, great strain, just great finish overall. And he made my job easy on that play. Well, I think that's that's the, kind of the great thing about this is, you know, some of these guys like Dutton Heifer is one. He's going to probably have to play you know, a few more snaps with Eli going down too. And, uh, you know, those first couple of weeks, that's um, getting a lot of guys some snaps and uh, just – and it's just it's just great to see. I mean, you guys, I don't know if you look at yourself at a big play defense, but you've certainly been that the first couple of weeks. Yeah, we've definitely has been a big emphasis uh, for Cole Green uh, in the offseason is takeaways. And we made it a, a point because it's been since 2018 that we've scored on defense until this year. And we've already got two scores on defense like this year. So we got to keep the momentum rolling uh, into Arizona on Saturday. Now, Arizona coming in, it's just a lot of different environment. It's an FBS game. First, let's kind of discuss that from the, you know, playing a team at that caliber. Haven't, uh, haven't, had, that, haven't had that opportunity in a few years. Um, what, do you, what, do, what do you think you're going to, what do you expect for this uh, as far as an atmosphere goes? Oh, we expect a great atmosphere and a great fan base. We know uh, Bison Nation is going to travel well, and we expect about fifty or 60,000 there down in Tucson. A great, exciting environment for uh, all of our kids on staff because this is the first game that we've experienced at an FBS place and versus an uh, FBS opponent. So I think it's really big for us, and it could be a confidence booster as well for us, and just to see where we're at and gain momentum going on throughout the season. What do you guys look at yourselves uh, coming in? And I, I probably you've been thinking about it, but you can't really probably say a whole lot until this week. But uh, I would say, from a health standpoint and everything else, I, I think you guys have done a pretty good job of just kind of just playing week by week and getting to this, uh, getting to this point and getting to this moment. Yeah, a big, big emphasis on us is just going want to know each week. So we started the season off with Drake, and that was our main focus. And then last week with uh, NC A and T. Now we're on to Arizona and. Goals to go one and zero for the week. By by any means necessary, to get the job done. They got a pretty good wide receiver. I think he's got thirty four catches or straight games with a a, a reception. Is and in, in, you know, they've got a lot of new, a lot of transfers and such. Uh, what's the game plan going in uh, from the defensive side of the ball? Yeah, so we got to contain this quarterback. He's a great uh, great dual threat. Great job uh, with his legs, uh, extending plays and giving opportunities for his wide receivers to get open down the field. Uh, number four, number two, and number five, uh, the three main wide receivers, they're great players. Uh, number two transfer from UTEP, and he's he's showing people why he should be power five and, 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 and ha- should have been power five um, his whole career. And it's exciting to see guys like that just flourish at the next level and the higher level because – not many people get the opportunity, and it's cool to see people use use the portal and it benefit them. So now you look at. Um, do you guys feel like what, this is? You know, I, I think you know a lot of people know the NDSU brand and the reputation, but do you feel like you even being this is the first time you played an FBS team that you have something to prove, or is you just you're? It's like we have nothing to prove. We're going to show you what we're like. Yeah, especially being from the West Coast, I know there's a bunch of people out west who aren't too familiar with the uh, Bison brand and, and the Bison brand of, of how we play football here. And that's the physicality. That's the A-gap power and just the cold green, play hard, play fast, play together type of defense that we have here. And uh, I'm just super excited for our guys and our coaches and our our support staff to just have this, have this opportunity and – we're not going down there with nothing to prove because we know what type of men we have in our facility. And I think the biggest thing, we just want to show show the world like how we play football up north and how we feel like we can hang and potentially 
compete with these big-time schools. So You're going to get that chance. Should be uh, should be a lot of fun. Dawson Weber, thank you for the time. I appreciate you, sir.